Welcome to the first annual elimination of puppets. We have six competitors representing the three districts, primary, secondary, and tertiary carbons. Now let's meet the contestants. From the primary district, we have one bromo, two methyl propane, and one chloro, two methyl propane. These contestants are the least reactive out of all competing in today's games. And representing the second district, we have two bromobutane and two chlorobutane. They are more reactive than primaries, but not as reactive as the tertiaries. And finally, from the tertiary district, we have two bromo, two methylbutane, and two chloro, two methylbutane. These are the most reactive competitors that we have today. Tertiary carbons tend to be very chubby, dysteric hindrance. Now, let's get to the action as we are about to begin. This round of the game is dealing with elimination reactions only. Not all arrows will work to eliminate certain substrates. How good of a base depends on which process will ensue. The only way to eliminate a competitor is to turn them into a double bond. And the countdown begins. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. And we are off in the first annual games. Right off the bat, the tertiary puppets are going to the ammo supply to retrieve some arrows. Why is this, Dr. Robert? As mentioned before, these tertiary contestants are the most reactive out of the three districts. So in effect, they are trying to get arrows and be on offense and avoid being eliminated first. This would also explain why the primary contestants are laying low because it is much harder for them to get eliminated so they are playing safe. Now let's check in on the secondary contestants. It appears as if the secondary contestants are stalking the ammo supply waiting for the tertiary to leave. This is quite possibly going to set up our first attack of the afternoon. Now that the tertiaries have the secondaries trapped, let's see if they have the right arrows to perform the elimination reaction, or will they give the advantage right to the secondary competitors and put themselves in a bad position. And the secondary contestants are approaching the ammo supply. The tertiaries pop out and fire the arrows. Both of the arrows make contact with the contestants, but 2-chlorobutane seems to be unfazed by the arrow. However, we have our first elimination of the afternoon as 2-bromobutane has been turned into a pi bond. So Wait! It appears as if 2-chlorobutane is picking up the arrow fired at him and firing it right back, and he hits 2-chloro, two 2-methylbutane, two square on the head, and we have our second elimination. And immediately following this, 2-chlorobutane grabs another arrow and fires it at 2-bromo, two 2-methylbutane, two and he is eliminated as well. One bromomethylpropane is approaching the tree in which 2-chlorobutane is hiding in. He looks up and finds him, and one bromomethylpropane shoots him. It appears as if they have eliminated 2-chlorobutane as he falls out of the tree to his eventual death. First, let's look at the elimination of the secondary carbons. As we can see, the arrow was fired and only an E2 reaction occurs. In this reaction, Br becomes the leaving group and forms the new pi bond. This same process occurred in both of the secondary eliminations. Let's also look at the two tertiary eliminations. Both of the tertiary contestants were eliminated in an E1 reaction, which is a two-step process. First, the leaving group leaves. Then the water attacks, making a pi bond. You are both the winners of the first annual elimination of puppets.